Hey guys, so today I am doing the Disney book tag and I was tagged by Alison King and I will leave a link down to her video below. And this tag was created by Caddy Chastik so I will link her video down below as well. I am wearing a Disney sweatshirt. I didn't even plan this. So yeah, let's just get right into it. The first question is The Little Mermaid, a character who is out of their element or a fish out of water. And for that I'm gonna go with Kat from Fangirl because she's totally out of her element when she goes to college. Number two is Cinderella, a character that goes through a major transformation. And for that I'm gonna go with Juliet from Shatter Me. I feel like so many people have probably used this as their answer But in the first book, I literally hated Juliet. I thought she was the most annoying character on the planet She was so whiny and just complained all the time and I really really disliked her But by the end of Ignite Me, I actually started to like her and she just went through so much character development Like she's unrecognizable and she just grew so so much Number three is Snow White, a book with an eclectic cast of characters And I'm gonna go with the whole Harry Potter series for this. There are just so many different complex complex characters in the series and I just love every character. Number four is Sleeping Beauty, a book that put you to sleep. And for that I'm gonna go with Beautiful Darkness, the second book in the Beautiful Creature series or the Castor Chronicle series. Honestly I think that was the most boring book I've ever read. It took me forever to read it. I quite enjoyed Beautiful Creatures but Beautiful Darkness was so so boring that it literally just put me to sleep. Number five is The Lion King, my favorite, and that is a character that had something traumatic happen to them in childhood. And for that, I'm gonna go with Wendy from the Trill Trilogy. And Wendy, when she was a child, her mother tried to kill her. And that's not a spoiler, it happens like in the first chapter. I would say that's pretty traumatic. Number six is Beauty and the Beast, my other favorite, and that is a beast of a book. And for that, I'm gonna go with City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. When I read this, it was on hardback and it was literally giant. Number seven is Aladdin, a character that gets their wish granted for better or for worse. And I'm gonna go with Bella from Twilight. Spoilers for Twilight, if you haven't read it, I'm sure that anyone who's watching this who plans to read Twilight has already read it. Bella gets her wish granted in the sense that she wants to become a vampire and Edward grants that wish. Number eight is Mulan, and that is a character that pretends to be someone or something they're not. And for that I'm gonna go with Will Harrendahl from The Infernal Devices. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you've read this, you know that he really does sort of portray himself in a way that is not really him. Number nine is Toy Story, another one of my favorites, and that is a book with a cast of characters that you wish would come to life. And for that, I'm gonna go with all the characters from the Lunar Chronicles. I just wish that they would come to life and that I could be a part of their squad because they are so badass and just awesome. Number 10 is Disney Descendants, and that is your favorite villain or morally ambiguous character. And for that, I'm gonna go with Warner from the Shattering Trilogy. Warner is a dickhead in the first couple of books, but you just end up falling in love with him and oh, I love Warner. Yeah, those are all the questions. I can't think of anyone to tag, but if you want to do this tag, then I tag you. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!